The name of this story is What's in a Name? Rupert the rabbit was sitting still near his favorite tree, watching a chipmunk run around as happy as could be. He was sniffing a little bit here, then running over there. Then he would pick up a rock, pause, and look around everywhere. Rupert wasn't even sure what he might be looking for. He had never just sat still to watch a chipmunk before. This one seemed very busy as he went from place to place. He darted back and forth, never slowing his rapid pace. He heard a strange noise off to his left, so he turned to see. He stretched his neck, listening, wondering who it might be. Bobbing and weaving through the long grass, he saw a round white head. It was Daphne the duck, and she was running with her wings spread. At the same time he saw Daphne come running towards him full out, Rupert turned back around quickly when he heard the chipmunk shout. He almost laughed right out loud when he saw what the chipmunk found, but held his breath, hoping he wouldn't drop Cherie on the ground. Too much happened all at once, but then the moment quickly passed. Still, it took a moment to straighten out everything at last. When the chipmunk had picked Cherie up, thinking she was a rock, the snail had screamed loudly, giving the chipmunk an awful shock. Rupert was very glad the chipmunk hadn't dropped his small friend, and even though she was frightened, she was all right in the end. Daphne had burst onto the scene just as the chipmunk gave his shout, but she knew there was no time at all to figure everything out. So as Rupert had sat there watching, with his eyes growing wide, Daphne had scooped up both of them, then had found a place to hide. She had come right to the place where he was sitting, as it turned out, and this time it was the duck who had showed surprise with a shout. <coughs> After everyone had settled down and were quiet at last, Daphne said people were coming right behind her, coming fast. To Rupert's surprise, the chipmunk said, I knew it wouldn't take long. I'm hungry, you see. He said, So I knew they would soon be along. Looking at the rest of them, he just sat there pleased as he could be. What's wrong with you? The chipmunk asked. Don't you know my name is Cheese? Rupert looked at Daphne, who shrugged her shoulders and shook her head. Cherie had no shoulders, so she just moaned a little instead. <gasps> uh. Rupert looked closely at the chipmunk, who said his name was Cheese. That's a very different kind of name, he said. Everyone here agrees. Besides, Cherie said, people aren't something I know much about, but I'm sure you'll explain why they care you're hungry, I've no doubt. Rupert had known the snail for some time and knew this was her way. The words she used didn't always mean the thing she had to say. He could tell Cherie really didn't believe people would care that a small chipmunk was hungry, so they came here just to share. But before the chipmunk could respond or say a single word, they were all very quiet because of the voices they heard. They watched sitting together there by Ripper's favorite tree as several people walked past just as loud as they could be. Many of them were laughing and talking and having their fun. It looked to Rupert like their celebration had just begun. I think, he said, they are going to be here for a while. For some reason, he wasn't at all surprised to see Cheese smile. Once again, he looked at Daphne to see what she had to say. But to his surprise, he found she had started walking away. What's going on? Cherie wanted to know. Won't someone tell me? You should know I don't have eyes like you, so I can't always see. Hey! Cherie shouted when Cheese picked her up. You put me back down. Here. He said, putting her on Rupert. Now you'll cover more ground. The duck has the right idea. He said. Come on, follow me. Then he ran off after Daphne, leaving Rupert by the tree. So what are we going to do now? Cherie wanted to know. What do you say, Rupert? She asked. Do we stay or do we go? Rupert didn't like his friends following the people that way. He knew there was nothing he could do and nothing he could say. He had been around lots of people many times before, but he liked to wait a while to see what was in store. He had a bad feeling Daphne and Cheese wouldn't wait one bit, but he also knew worrying wouldn't change any of it. Come on, Cherie. He finally said, I guess we'd better go see. We will never find out what happened staying here by this tree. And when they reached the bottom of the hill, they found Cheese all right. 
But Daphne was nowhere to be found. She was nowhere in sight. To Rupert's great surprise, all the people had gone on their way, when in the forest the circle was where they usually stayed. Where did they all go? Rupert asked. Why aren't the people still here? But the chipmunk was too busy munching to listen or hear. Rupert looked around some more, wondering where Daphne might be, but she wasn't anywhere nearby as far as he could see. What is all that noise? Cherie asked. And what is that awful smell? It's coming from cheese, Rupert replied. As far as I can tell. The chipmunk had his cheeks stuffed full, but he kept on eating still. Rupert was sure his new friend had eaten way more than his fill. His little chipmunk face was stretched both far and terribly wide. Whatever he was eating looked like he was trying to hide. But no matter how much of the stuff he put inside his cheeks, his face looked like the little guy had sprung an orange-colored leak. Cherie sniffed the air. What is he eating? She wanted to know. I can hear and smell quite well, but I don't see so good, you know. It's cheese. The chipmunk shouted, his small eyes dancing merrily. It's mine, it's mine. He laughed out loud. I knew it would come to me. I have never heard of cheese. Rupert said, sniffing carefully. Will you make me guess? He asked. Or will you explain it to me? I don't know. The chipmunk replied. All I know is that it's good. And what you eat, I think, should taste really good. Oh, yes, it should. It must be a people food, Rupert said. Tell me if I'm right. The people dropped it right here, Cheese said. Then kept walking out of sight. This isn't real cheese, he said, smoothing the whiskers on his face. But I was right here, at just the right time, and in the right place. Whatever this is that the people dropped is covered in cheese. I love cheese of all kinds, so I will eat as much as I please. But you told us cheese is your name, Cherie said. Isn't that so? It used to be Chester, he said. But I changed it long ago. But why would your name be a thing that you would even want to change? Don't you think? asked Rupert. That's a little odd or maybe strange. Rupert was surprised that Chipmunk could talk so much while he chewed, with his small cheeks stuffed so full of the crunchy orange-colored food. One thing I've learned, the Chipmunk told them, which I will share with you, is that it matters very much how you do the things you do. What does that mean? Cherie asked. How do you do the things you do? I will explain, Cheese said. How to bring the things you like to you. I won't promise you will get everything you want, you should know. I'm sorry to say, that isn't how it works, or how it goes. But when you find a thing is important to you in your heart, believing you already have it is the best place to start. Oh? Rupert asked, one eyebrow rising high. Wouldn't that be fun? I eat clover all the time and play every day in the sun. No, my friend. Cheese said. That's not exactly what I mean to say. He licked both of his paws and wiped the last of the orange away. You may not get everything you want, but one thing I'll tell you is true. If you say you'll never have a thing, then that's what will happen to you. I think, Rupert said, I understand, smiling at his new friend. It all comes back to what's inside your heart and mind in the end. And that is why, Cherie put in, you changed your name to Cheese. What's most important to you is to get as much as you please. Daphne came strolling back just then and sadly shook her head. If that's the case, then I think I'll change mine to Fish instead. I followed behind the people as they went through on their walk, but they didn't give me any food, no matter how I squawked. The new friends all laughed together, then each went on their own way. Rupert had much to think about, he'd learned something new today. And though changing his name wasn't really something he would do, his heart said much of what Cheese the Chipmunk had to say was true. The End <laughs>